guys welcome back to exfoli excited for learning so today we are going to do project fruit collector debug one okay so let's get started so this is my project so this all format fruit catcher the title the box name and the play button the reset button they have made it but um, when you press the reset button whatever should happen is to be written by us and you also have to make a make the name appear on the baskets okay so i'll just show you that's it done before pressing the play button now the game state is zero play account is zero and just these two right now when i press the play button here you can see the player count is increased by one and the player's node um new node is created okay on its own Now this is the second player. So my brother's name, and you can see these baskets appeared. And you can see on the basket there's something. Here you'll see the name Shiva. Because this is Shiva's screen, and you'll see the name Prachita because it is my screen. It's on my tab, and when I move my basket, it moves. Right arrow and left arrow. Okay, the same goes to Shiva's basket, and you can see the player count is increased by one more. So now it's player count two, and the game state is changed to one. Okay, so when um, both the players are are there, then the game state changes to one, and from the title fruit collector. The play button, the input box, those all disappear, and you'll see the screen where the you'll see um, fruits showering. Okay, so now we have to do two things in this game. First, make a uh, the name of the player appear on the basket, and second thing, make the reset button. Actually, we don't need to make the reset button, but when you press it, what should happen? That should be Coded by us, okay. So if index equals 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 to player dot index, so if index equals to player dot index, then text is twenty, fill black, text all players plr dot name, x minus thirty and y plus twenty five. So this is um for printing the name on the basket. So First, it starts by player or get info. So, image is the background image, where x equals to hundred, y equals to two hundred, index equals to zero. So, index equals to zero. Then, we get for it's a for loop, where plr in all players. So, this is a loop. So, when first time when it runs, the plr will be one. The second time when it runs, the plr will be two. So index equals to index plus one. First time is index equals to index plus one. So first time when it runs, it's zero. First the index starts off with zero, right? And then we are saying that zero plus one, so which becomes one. The first time when it runs, okay? Then when the second time it runs, index is already one. The previous time when it ran, it was one, right? In total. Now it's one, and then equals to index plus one, which becomes two. One plus one equals to two. Okay, so this is why we write index. So um, over here we said that the, when the first time it runs, the first time, then index equals to one. So first it starts off by zero, because we wrote zero over here, equals to zero plus one, which becomes one. And over here, one minus one. Equals to zero. Okay, so player zero. So um, in an array, it doesn't start by one, two, three, four, right? It starts zero, one, two, three, four. That's the reason we have to minus by one number to our usual numbers. Okay. So then player index zero. Ah uh, dot x equals to x. So. It's x position equal. Um, so the first player's 
exposition equals to the exposition and second player's ex y position is y position now if index equals to equals to player dot index so yeah so if index equals to player dot index so first it starts off by zero so zero equals to equals to player dot index then print this text size 20 fill black text all players pla dot name x minus 30 so all players so first it will start off by one and then two so all player one dot name and x minus 30 and y plus 25 then second time for the second player okay so this is how it works for the text and let's go into the reset function if this dot v so this dot reset dot mouse pressed then it's an arrow game dot update zero player dot update count zero so game dot update count is zero and player dot sorry game dot update equals to zero and player dot update count is zero so what and then player in 4f equals to database dot ref players player in 4f dot remove so i'll tell you the second part first and then the first part second <laughs> okay so where player in 4f equals to database dot ref so we are referring to this node called players okay in a variable so its values and everything is stored inside this player in 4f then we are saying to remove this player in 4f so what is there inside the player in 4f players node right so we are ultimately meaning that remove this players node so player in 4f dot remove now game dot update zero player dot update count zero game dot update so we are updating the game state so let's first look at these update and update count functions where are these functions game game which is the game class player which is the player class so this function update is in the game class update so right here so update state database dot ref so we are referring to uh, slash so which means that it's a main node yeah it's a main node so and what are we up, um, looking at game state over here so this is the node game state colon state this is a very easy function so update state so what we are saying is that update and then inside the brackets what is that state Par it's a parameter and then it's the same thing over here as well okay so in the form class we have written that game dot update zero instead of state we wrote zero which means that state equals to zero okay and then when you go inside this game state colon state so this state and this state is the same over here we wrote state equals to zero so over here state equals to zero which means game state colon zero which means that game state is zero so over here we are updating game state zero okay so and it goes the same for update count it's in the player function player js sorry update count count database dot ref the main node again because this player is also a main node player count okay and what are we referring to update player count so colon count so instead of count we are writing zero which means count equals to zero and over here count equals to zero which means player count colon zero which means that player count equals to zero okay 
and we are deleting we are deleting this function in uh, player I mean this node player in for us so that was it it was really easy but this whole um, game how does it work is really hard I'll do that in the next video so if you are looking for the answer to the project then look at this video and if you want to know how actually does this um, whole game work then look at the next video that I'm going to update, uh, update going to upload so that was it and if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell icon and if you don't have any doubts queries or, or any suggestions that you want like a video so the problem is that many of you are asking me some cat and mouse then feed the rapid there are some projects but I never got those projects. Rata Junior has completely changed the syllabus for each student. I don't know it's different. I don't know what are they, um, what's their logic about that. But I not getting those projects for some reason. So I'm doing whatever projects I get. So um, if you have any doubts, then always comment it and share the code to me. So just copy paste the whole class or something like that. And I'll try to look at it. Okay. So thank you. Bye. Please subscribe. Please, please, please. Bye.